So guys, for the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. Once we're on this, we're going to click on other troubleshooters. Then you want to find Bluetooth and you want to run the Bluetooth troubleshooter. Click on yes to run the automated diagnostics and then click on continue and then see if this fixes your problem. For the second step, we're going to head over to search and type in services. Click on it. Once we're on this, we're going to scroll down a little bit till we find Bluetooth support service. You want to make sure that this is running. So you want to double click on it and then make sure that service city says running right here. So click on start, which will make it running. But if it's already running, you want to right click on it and then click on restart. You also want to make sure that Bluetooth audio gateway and Bluetooth user support are also on startup type automatic and that they're both running as well. For the next step, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Once you're on this, you're going to have Bluetooth. I haven't got Bluetooth on this computer, but in your case, you're going to have Bluetooth. So you want to expand Bluetooth and then you want to find your Bluetooth device. You want to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that the best driver for your device has been installed. Then you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.